I got into knife making um, oh, oh, 30 odd years ago. Reason being I walked into a shop, saw my first custom knives as a school kid. Couldn't afford to buy them, so I figured, what the hell, we'll have a go at making this and rub my dad in. And um, yeah, it's been a 30 odd year journey. Um, my, um, oh, sure it. my viewpoint or my approach to knife making is not just to make a knife and walk away, it's to make each and every knife better. Um, to me it's a path, like in the martial arts you start at a white belt, get to a black belt, same gig for me. Each and every success, successive knife has to be better, both in terms of finish, design, functionality, the whole trip. Um, it's an absolute gig making something with just your hands, your eyes, hand-eye coordination and putting it together, putting your name on it and knowing in 500 years time somebody's going to pick it up and say, hmm, I wonder who this dude was. And yeah, if Google exists, I guess they'll find out. Um, during that, that course, I've developed a fairly large workshop um, full of different gear. Um, we tend to purpose build or purpose make a lot of our machine tools um, um, around just doing one particular function. As an example, Manfred the Steinl horizontal mill, all he does is slot guards. Um, this little guy here is used for pre precision bits. He's a, um, a real accurate little lathe. Um, I work primarily, well, I do primarily uh, stock removal. Um, we obviously live in a, an urban environment. I couldn't put a hammer or for, forge and, and so forth in here, not without annoying the, the um, neighbours somewhat. Um, I work primarily in the Loveless style. Um, I was lucky enough to visit with Loveless in '99, my first trip to the States. Every year I visit um, or I attend the annual blade show in Atlanta in June. And after that I'll spend time with a number of different guys in the States and, and obviously that's a sharing of information. Um, we've just started running the Auckland Knife Show again the last two years um, and uh, the whole idea is to try and increase the level of um, the public's knowledge about good custom knives and I think in New Zealand that is certainly starting to turn. Um, we don't have a guild in New Zealand at this point in time. Um, guilds are found in most of the countries, whether it be the States, Canada, Italy, France, South Africa, and, and they help set the standards um, of knives um, and the service that those knife makers provide the public. Um, so it's an essential thing that should come sometime. All right, guys, I'm going to take you on a quick tour of my, of my workshop. At the moment, it's a real mess, so don't look too closely. Um, the shop is primarily divided into two areas, the clean work and the dirty work room. So what we'll do is we'll start in the dirty work room, and like I say, it is dirty right at the moment. Um, down this end, we've got four, four disc grinders. Each of these grinders is set up for a particular function, or will be, this one will be eventually when we get to it. These two guys are used primarily for taping, tapering tangs. So one runs clockwise, the other one runs counterclockwise. Um, this is set up for um, setting up compound angles of my handles. Um, Obviously an extractor, we're still in the process of connecting. Um, buffing machine which is soon to be replaced. This, this grinder I built about 30 years ago, his name's Attila. He does a really lot of good work and he's, he's real grunty and he can run 2750 belts as well. So belts all the way out to there. Um, it's a small wind attachment um, which I use primarily for hollow, hollow grinding. This I use for squaring up blades. Um, this one, small wheel grinder just for notching. Obviously a cut-off bandsaw. Um, this is the latest grinder we just got from Gamco. I'm going to be using it primarily with a 5-inch wheel just when I do my Loveless style um, double-edge blades. And, and, yeah. This is a bead blaster. Um, the bead blaster is used primarily for um, keen uh, tangs prior to gluing. Okay. Um, bandsaw. This bandsaw I bought when I first got to New Zealand about 22 years, 22 years ago. It's got a reduction box on it to the motor. It works real well. It's cut thousands upon thousands upon thousands of blades. Um, it doesn't have the guard on. That's, I'm the only one who uses it, so no big deal. Um, this is Cecil. He's a Boxford lathe. He was virtually unused when I got him. And I use him primarily with the, um, the collets, with micro screws just to true up the micro screws when we put in small folders together. Um, this is Fred, he's an old 50 year old bridge board. He's, he does most of our general sort of engineering type knife work. Um, 
that's uh, compressor, and then we've got Shangwen, our wee little surface grinder. He's been with us probably 10 years now, he's a really good tool, really good piece of kit. A um, bunch of drill presses down this side. Oh, oh, sneak A bunch of drill presses, um, all set up for different jobs, just makes it easier. So you can walk from one machine to the next to the next without having to change drills all the time. This is the press, our pin press. This is Manfred. He's a really cool um, Steinol machine. He's virtually unused. He's still got the scrapings on the bed. Um, these are used just for slotting of um, fixed blade guards. Um, it's a lot easier to slot guards on that thing than it is to do it on, on Fred with uh, end molds. This, this is the primary work bench where I do most of, most of the file and fill in etc etc rough work. Um, this is a slab of granite which we use for um, flat sanding. So you put a piece of wet and dry on there and you can rough out to get it flat, or get a work surface flat. Just a marking out table, some tooling stands, wee little anvil which we just use for odd jobs here and there. This is a uh, press we're busy building for Kydex, so it's, um, it's got an air ram at the back and we'll be able to adjust it up and down or adjust the travel. Of the, of the RAM, um, and that's Kydex there, and it's a thermoforming plastic used for certain types of knives we make. Um, that's just a, another recent addition to the shop, it's a wee little precision drill press, um, and uh, that's just storage area and so forth and so forth, and just my design bench and where I take apart and hundreds of times folders. And,